Hello, Nansen Explorers. Sometimes it's useful to know who has been depositing funds into a specific contract. Some examples could be yield farming, obviously, governance, and just generally if someone has been locking up funds in a staking contract, for example. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily find out who are the top depositors into a specific address that you see in our dashboards. So let's start with wrap Bitcoin, WBTC. Um, and I've got the token god mode dashboard open here. And so the first thing I'll do is to scroll down right away to the top balances. So this shows who are the top holders of wrap Bitcoin in, in terms of, you know, the fundings and balances that you see on chain. Now, the top one in this case is Uniswap. Uh, and it's one of the Uniswap pools, namely Wrap Bitcoin and Wrap Ether. And so this in itself isn't very useful because it's to know that, you know, the pool is the biggest holder. That's fine. But actually, there's a lot of different people who have claims on the holdings inside of that pool. So how can you break that down and understand who are actually the depositors into this pool? And so you can scroll to the right in this table and you'll find some hidden columns uh, over here to the right. You have a link to Etherscan for this address. You have a link to the wallet profiler. And then you have this new column that we've added called depositors. And if you click this one, this one will drill down into this particular contract. As a reminder, this was the Uniswap pool for wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ether. And now we're looking at the wrapped Bitcoin holdings in this contract. And we're basically going to break it down uh, to see who are the top depositors into this contract, who are the biggest, um, basically, most likely to be claimers on the holdings inside of this contract. They could have actually, if you're getting a bit technical, they could have uh, transferred the liquidity pool token elsewhere and thus they don't have any claims on the holdings yet. So this just shows, you know, directly how much wrapped Bitcoin has been deposited into this pool by these different wallets. And so right away you see, um, you can see the distribution, which can be useful in, in, in some cases on its own in terms of like, how does it break down across different addresses? But you can also see specific entities. You know, uh, you've got some market makers, you've got some larger funds here. Um, and then obviously you have a lot of behavioral uh, labels like medium dex trader, CDP creator, and so on. And you can also click through it. Um, so you see, you know, further down the list and you can see in some cases some ENS names, for example. Uh, you also have some basic stats on how many transactions they uh, made to move funds into this pool out again on, and in volume numbers too, and then timings of these. So at what point did they first send in tokens to this Uniswap pool? So this can be quite un useful to understand, you know, who are the contributors to the funds inside uh, of a specific smart contract or even an address in some cases. Um, so let me just do a quick other example. You know, we, we looked at the Uniswap pool, which is the top holder of wrapped Bitcoin. The second one is um, Maker, actually. So this is where you can collateralize your wrapped Bitcoin to mint DAI. And so if we do the same thing here, um, this one is going to be perhaps a bit less interesting on the labels because with Maker, there's uh, this notion of a proxy contract that sits between you and the Maker contract. And so on chain, it's going to look like uh, it's just a bunch of different proxies that input um, the funds into Maker. And this is exactly what you see when you look at the labels. In some cases, we've still labeled the entity um, that is associated with this proxy address. Um, so that's kind of, you know, that's useful on its own. But I think the more, more interesting thing in this case is to look at the distribution. So who is actually depositing rep bitcoins into Maker? Or what does that distribution look like? And here you see it's really three addresses that's depositing all of the wrapped Bitcoin almost um, that's sitting in, inside this contract. And then there's a long tail, you know, further down. 
and of course, you know, these are Bitcoins, so the, it, there are substantial amounts. But definitely these top three stand out as being the main contributors of wrapped Bitcoins into the maker ecosystem. Um, you can go down this list, right? And you can you can drill down and understand, like, what about uh, wrapped Bitcoin contributions to Aave, to Curve, um, to Compound, et cetera. And, and you'll get, you know, these breakdowns on, on who's actually contributing funds to those. Uh, let me just show you another um, another token, though. So now I'm looking at Maker. So we're still at token god mode, but now I've just switched the token to Maker. And so, you know, we were looking at Uniswap pools, but there's actually tons of different um, patterns or the same pattern is used in lots of different scenarios where you just deposit funds into another contract. And so one such um, use case is governance. So many places, when you want to vote in, in governance, you, actually, you, have, you have to actually deposit funds into a separate governance contract. This is the case with Wi-Fi, uh, and it's also the case with Maker. So when you look at the top balances of the Maker token, the top one is actually the governance contract, which is, I'd say, a good thing for the project because it means, you know, uh, a lot of the funds are actually locked up to be used actively in um, voting. And the question then is, well, who deposited the funds into the governance contract? And so we do the same thing as before. You scroll all the way to the right and you hit the link here under depositors. And it's basically going to break down who the net contributors of the maker tokens inside of this governance contract are. So this is kind of a hairy label, I have to say. We should probably simplify this a bit. Uh, but you can see here it's the maker voting contract. And we're looking at the maker uh, tokens in this case. And so... Here you can see lots of different um, participants and contributors of maker tokens into this contract. You see some VC funds, um, and you can also see, uh, well, here's another VC fund, and you can see how much they currently have uh, sitting in the governance contract ready for voting. There's also these vote proxies that are, I guess you could say, somewhat similar to the proxies you saw before with Wrap Bitcoin. Um, they are kind of intermediaries, so not always that useful. And then the maker voter behavioral label, which is, you know, uh, pulled out from people who have then actively used uh, the, the funds for, for voting. Uh, you don't necessarily have to vote uh, just because you move the tokens into this contract. You could, for example, use it almost as a place to, to hide some of your holdings. Uh, one thing I noticed, which I find kind of, kind of interesting, is that if you look at the timing of this one, um, you see that, you know, if I just do a control F and copy it, you see it, hey, there's actually another address that submitted funds at the exact same time. So who knows? Maybe this is, if not the same entity, then perhaps this is, it's the same custodian at least, um, which, which, you know, is kind of an interesting detail that I, that I picked up there. And you can click through and understand, you know, who are the different uh, depositors of maker tokens into their governance contract. Let's just do one last one. Uh, let's just do YFI as well, which is, um, you know, a DeFi darling. And you can see kind of the same, the similar pattern as with maker, where, you know, among the top balances, you have 30% of all the supply sitting in the governance contract, right? This is for maker. And when you go to YFI, and you look at the same top balances, you see, hey, actually 26%. That's kind of, you know, eerily similar, actually. Uh, and indeed, it's also the, the governance contract. So you can scroll over to the right, click that link to the depositors. And here as well, you get a breakdown of all the Wi-Fi depositors into the governance contract. And now, of course, it's Wi-Fi, it's not Maker. Um, and so, yeah, this is kind of a, a really useful tool, actually, to try to understand who the participants are in different governance schemes and also for, you know, liquidity provisioning, as we saw with the Uniswap example initially. Um, and I encourage you to just, you know, take this for a spin, uh, look at some tokens you're interested in, 
go to the top balances section in token god mode and just scroll all the way to the right and you know click into these different depositors links that's it hopefully this was useful and i look forward to seeing what you will use it for